buddy. He can't move his head too much. Oops, you know what? I might even just take this bit of cardboard. Um, which here yeah, isn't good. I've had it happen before. He's really tangled up. <laughs> I am back home with my red belly. What an absolute mischief he's gotten himself into. Down the bottom of a apartment complex, in the basement. Not only that, he gets into a storeroom and gets wrapped up in the stickiest tape I've ever seen. And it's already starting to sort of ruin the scales and we're not gonna know the full extent till we can get it off him. So I've got here non-stick cooking oil and that's gonna help to break up the stickiness of the tape and hopefully be able to get him off. And Hopefully there's not too much injury. But yeah, we'll get stuck into it, eh? Now I was trying to be so careful when I put him in the bag because he he's stuck. I, I, I cut the cardboard off so he didn't get squashed or end up on top of himself or anything like that. Now I'm hoping he wasn't stuck down there for too long because God, that would have been horrible. But they said they go in that room at least once to twice a day. So hopefully he just went in this morning and he's only been in there since then. The head's pretty much um, safe and secure there. So I might start on this bit at the back and we'll get that off first. That might be our safest option. just really need to break up all that stickiness everywhere. It's making my fingers slippery as well. Just slowly and steadily, can't rush this or we'll end up ripping off scales and causing terrible injuries. This is literally just non-stick canola oil that you just buy at the shop. If you come across something like this, you're better off calling your local wildlife or reptile catcher. Don't bite yourself either. No. Maybe. No, no. Don't bite yourself or it's doomsday. No. Silly bugger. Don't do that. You'd do anything to be able to tell them that you're helping. He's probably wondering why on earth he smells like oil right now. He's getting agitated. It's probably hurting him. He doesn't know what to do. The more he moves around, he's probably working himself out of it. So it's probably helping, to be honest, because he would know how much is hurting, how much he can move without causing too much damage rather than me just pulling. Could be helpful that he's being a wriggly little bugger. We just don't want him to bite himself because it's most likely game over. And this is a job I need two hands for, so if I tube him, I can't really do it that well. It's an incredibly slow process, but we're getting there. It's being a very good boy. You're a good boy. Hmm? You're a good boy. We'll get there. We'll get you there. There we go, one down. There's a few scales there, but pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with that, to be honest. You can see where I just had to cut through so I could get some more oil in. Really happy with that. Don't know how I'm gonna get the oil off him after. That's another debacle. He keeps biting the tape, so I just had to check my hands to make sure I don't have any open cups. If in case I'm touching that and he's envenomated the tape, that would be able to enter my bloodstream or enter my body, but I'm pretty good. He's definitely getting away from all the wiggling. At the same time, he's probably gonna tire quite easily. Oh, there we go. That was a big chunk that came off. Oh, you probably didn't even see it. That came off really easy, thanks to all his wiggling. He was connected there as well, so now he's just got this little bit Oh, it's actually a big bit, but this bit that's holding the head here, and then we've just got the got the body to tackle. They're looking pretty good. I'm really happy. How 
easy was that? How easy did that bit come off? Just left it for a minute or two, let him wiggle around. And that's even cleaner than the other one. Not many scales on that one, hey buddy, what are you doing? Now just for the middle piece. That was the easiest tube I've ever done. Let's cut this off. Oil hasn't really penetrated under here. I don't know why it gets stuck on the belly so badly. The belly has these long scales. You'd think you could pull that off a bit easier. Maybe it's more surface area than the lumps in the in the smaller scales. That makes more sense, doesn't it? There we are. Woo! And there we are. A beautiful, uninjured red belly. A stunning little one at that. I think you're my friend now. I think he's my friend now. I think he's realized that I helped him out. What do you reckon, bud? He's being pretty friendly. He knows I helped him. Aren't they just absolutely gorgeous? And right now, while he's covered in oil, he probably feels like what people do think snakes feel like, all slimy and disgusting. <laughs> but he must be so relieved. So I think with this guy, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him in the bag. Maybe some of the oil will come off him into the bag and he's gonna wanna rest after that ordeal, after being trapped there for however long and then having me bug him for the last 45 minutes. He's gonna want a rest, so we'll put him in the bag and then maybe in an hour or two, I'll get him back out. We can give him a soak in water, try to get some of that oil off. Tomorrow's raining, the next day's raining. The day after is sunny, so we'll take him back home then. What a lucky little guy. Lucky guy that he was found. He easily could have not been found where he was and could have been sitting there for an extremely long time. All right, we'll bag you up, little dude. Hey, beautiful. Oh no. Here, yeah, there you go. Go dry yourself up. Get some of that oil off. There you go. He's bagged up having a rest. I'll see you in an hour or two. Our little red belly, he's had a rest. Hopefully he's sort of slithered around, rubbed himself. Oh no. I've got oil everywhere. Hopefully he's slithered around enough in the bag and he's managed to get some of that oil off his body and I don't know, onto the bag because I don't know. Water and oil, they don't mix. So I don't know if it's going to come off on him. But at least if he was stuck there for a while or even stuck in the basement for a while, he can have a drink, he can rehydrate. In our little bath here, we just put him in there for five minutes. Clean up, rehydrate, and then he can go back in the bag for another rest. And tomorrow's weather ain't good, so I think the following day we'll take him home. Oh, he's so oily. Can you see how shiny he is? Might just have to wait till he's released and he's traversing back through the grass and the rocks and the bushland and I mean that'll take it all off, won't it? We'll give this, we'll give the water a crack anyway. He's a beautiful snake. You are gorgeous. Hey, you'd be my best friend. Hey, I think you appreciate what I did for you. That's a first. They never appreciate what you do for them. There he is, I'll leave him in there. He can move around in the water. I might even give him a run in the grass after and that might help to get some of it off. Oh yeah, I think it is helping because the water's changed colour immediately. Oh, I'm back in the water. Yeah, that's a better shot. The glossy black's obviously where he's not damaged and he's got the white. Lost the top layer of gloss, but that's not going to cause him any worries. Couldn't give a damn. Bath's done, we'll give him a run on the grass. Then we can chuck him back in here, I don't know. It may or may not work. Yeah, so you may or may not be able to see you got the glossy black scales where he's obviously fine and then the matte black where just that top layer's come off but not going to cause him any problems. Doesn't want to be my friend anymore. See him flattening out that neck. Watching me 
every step. Definitely think some of that oil's come off. <laughs> Look at him. All right. One more bath and then back in the bag. Morning, we're up bright and early guys. 6 a.m., just finished an early morning gym session, so I thought, why not? I'll bring the red belly with me and we can release him nice and early, soak up that morning sun and enjoy his new habitat. So as you can see, his habitat, his home has been absolutely decimated. Gone, nothing left, destroyed. Over there, there's houses upon houses upon houses. In the distance, you can see the apartments which we got him out of. So what we're gonna do, is take him down here. A lot more suitable. There's a big creek system which runs through the guts of this bushland. Huge dam pond there which obviously isn't going to get built on top of. Lots of food sources. Skinks, frogs, anything you can wrap his little lips around. So we'll grab him out of the car and we'll head down there and he can enjoy this beautiful summer's day. We're looking at about 30 degrees today guys. Here we are, I reckon. A beautiful big dam. And then over this side, we've got Eastern Creek running through here. So we can pick between the dam, pick between the creek. They may turn this into parklands, but there's not gonna be construction per se. Here, it's too wet and swampy and perfect habitat for him. So hopefully he can just head down there, work along the creek system and live a safe and happy life. That's what we hope for anyway. Do you reckon he still wants to be friends with me today? I reckon he might not want to be. Once they sense freedom and home, they normally just want to get out of here. He wants to be my friend today. God, you are a beautiful snake. With the sun on it, you can see the change of colours where he lost those scales, but he ain't worried about it. He is still my friend. <laughs> there you go. One of the rare ones that appreciates me. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see his colours, his vibrant colours, absolutely popping in that morning sunlight. Oh, I just want to take him home and cuddle him. But I'm sure he doesn't want that. So <laughs> let's send him into the grass. goes isn't that just the best you can see how just non-phased and placid these snakes are all this irrational fear it's just for nothing it makes no sense like you leave them to their devices they'll leave you fear is taught and fear of these snakes needs to not be taught awareness yes fear no it's all about education isn't it that's why we do it that is why we do what we do what an absolutely beautiful morning Definitely chose the wrong shoes. There's a bloody marsh pit down there. Ugh. Alrighty, as always, thanks for joining in, guys. Hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment, help me out. I wouldn't be surprised if I see you guys a bit later in the day on another rescue or even a walk. I don't know, I'll finish it now if not, or I'll see you soon.